Hello, my name is Joseph Lanasa and I am a technical writer and consultant for Synergy Advisors. Today I'd like to show you how you can use Microsoft RMS on Mac devices to secure sensitive information from unauthorized access and misuse. Microsoft RMS is a service hosted in the cloud that protects sensitive information. Azure RMS is a standalone offering that can function with or without the Office 365 service. Unlike traditional protection methods such as firewalls and ACLs, RMS protection is persistent. It remains with the information no matter where it goes or how it is transported. Content authors can determine both which users are authorized to access a certain piece of protected content and also what they are authorized to do with that content. For example, a content author might dictate that a certain group can open and edit the document but cannot copy or print the contents of the document. Historically, RMS support for Mac has been limited. However, Microsoft has recently released several new capabilities that provide increased support for Mac devices. The first capability is RMS support in Outlook for Mac 2015. Users can now send and receive RMS protected messages on their Mac device. The second new capability is the release of the RMS sharing application for Mac, which enables users to consume protected text, image, and PDF files. Let's take a look at how these two products work. We will start on a Mac device where I'm about to compose a new email message to a colleague. I will protect the message using an RMS template in my organization. I will send the message to my colleague who also happens to be using a Mac. Now we will log on as the recipient of the message. We'll open Outlook for Mac and notice that we are able to open the protected message. I'll click the banner to see the permissions the recipient has on this email. Notice that the recipient has permission to view the message, but does not have permission to copy or print it. I'll click File and notice that the print option is unavailable. RMS functionality will be available in the next version of Office for Mac, which is expected to be released in 2015. Now let's take a look at the RMS sharing application for Mac. This release supports the ability to consume protected documents such as protected PDFs, ptext, and image file formats. In the near future, you will also be able to protect sensitive files using the RMS sharing application. Let's take a look at the process of consuming a protected file with the RMS sharing application. I'll navigate to a folder where I have stored several files that have already been protected with RMS. Protected PDF, text, and image files change format to PPDF, PTEXT, and in this case, PGIF files. Notice that we are able to open these files on the Mac through the RMS sharing application. Protected Office files will open in the next version of Office for Mac. All other file types are encrypted in the P file format, which provides wrapper-based encryption to control initial access and expiration. Authorized users can unwrap the P file and then render the content in the native application, where no granular level permissions are enforced. Unauthorized users are unable to access content in a P file. I've just shown you how you can use RMS in Mac devices to create and consume protected email messages and to consume files protected with the RMS sharing application. For more information about Microsoft's rights management services, please see our other videos at youtube.com slash Synergy Advisors. Synergy Advisors designs and deploys RMS architectures for enterprise-level customers. If you are interested in learning how RMS can help you solve your information protection needs, visit our website at synergyadvisors.biz. Additionally, Synergy Advisors distributes a monthly newsletter filled with the latest updates across the Microsoft identity and security platforms. If you would like to sign up to receive this newsletter or have additional questions on the topics presented in this video, please email us at askipteam at synergyadvisors.biz. Thank you for watching.